SMT Nation, we back nation. We've got big news out of the cellular industry. This one's going to impact a lot of people. Tens of millions of folks, including lots of mobile network operators. Let me tell you guys what's going on and how this is going to be great for us and mobile network operators. A link for the article from Federated Wireless and Globe Newswire. I'll provide that. It'll be in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if it's your first time here. And then turn on the bell notifications icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, guys, it is absolutely official. New regulations for CBRS Spectrum. For those of you that don't know what this is, it is a frequency of radio waves that resides in the 3 gigahertz range. It's right around 3.5 gigahertz. And, um, you know, it, it's kind of it's kind of got some multiple use cases. Mobile network operators use it. There's licensed and unlicensed variations. A lot of folks use the unlicensed for fixed wireless access. Uh, we see it uh, private networks. It's really flexible. Uh, the way it can be utilized obviously has some pretty cool uh, use cases and, and things of that nature. But it's really about the sharing, right? It's that anybody can use it. It's a very open access platform, if you will. Verizon does a lot of their LTE band support with band 48. You know, so it's it's really important. There's a lot of carriers, uh, local, regional, and then national that use it for their network. And now the rules are changing. The FCC has made it official. They have expanded where CBRS can be used, now reaching an additional 72 million people across over 10 states. I think it was estimated to be more than 12 or 13 states. It's basically the border states, right? The ones that are on the border of the country. And... uh you know, obviously, this is a this is a band uh, where military operates, so there is some you know management of power levels and potential you know power downs during their use of it. So the dynamic spectrum sharing framework that's been in place, uh, those rules haven't changed. But the fact that more people in more locations can get access to this means more building of networks using the spectrum. So. Uh, Texas was mentioned, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona. You know, obviously they get boosted with this. Dish owns CBRS, Verizon does as well. There's a lot of regional providers. And I think that obviously makes this much more enticing to carriers and mobile network builders because they can use it in more places. There is one more thing to consider though, right? The one more thing to consider is potential power levels increasing for CBRS. What that does is it allows the signal in the CBRS spectrum range to be broadcasted with more power so it can reach further. That would increase the value of the CBRS spectrum. It makes it more meaningful for more people. I know that they also mentioned with uh, the FCC said with the new rules, SAS managers uh, can expand services in larger cities too, including Atlanta, Phoenix, Vegas, San Antonio, and Pittsburgh. All right. So to me, that, that sounds like a win. I know that there's been a lot of considerations of Spectrum rules and Spectrum coming to market potentially in auctions through the FCC, so it's good to see that they're busy. I have my concerns about the lower 3 gigahertz when they do things like this, right? So this is a good thing and a bad thing in a way uh, because we really, really want to see the next piece of the lower 3 gigahertz frequency, you know, become, you know, the not only just come to market, but we want it to be high powered. We want it to be like C-band, right? We want it to be like DOD, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm sure the United States military wants it shared. They want to be able to power it down whenever they need it and those types of things. But I'm following it, guys. I will let you know, but this is a win. This is a good thing for customers, a good thing for mobile network builders. And um, again, I think it adds value to the CBRS band and band 48. And I think potentially the next step for CBRS is to get additional power. We know that Dish is politicking for that. Verizon would love it. I'm sure some of that's going on. We'll continue to track the evolution of CBRS because it is going to be important, guys. Mobile networks, private networks, uh, you know, home broadband, the whole shebang. And um, next we focus on uh, getting those powers up and then also the lower three gigahertz. I, and I'm going to do a video on that coming up soon. Stay tuned for more updates as the news develops. Let you guys know when it does happen. Uh, but go ahead and comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.